I guess it is about time to have that conversation, isn't it, guys? Because I think right now on Rebirth, we're about halfway. I haven't looked to see how many uh, chapters there are, but we're in Mount Coral right now. I think we're about to go into chapter eight. I'm pretty sure we're, we're around that halfway point, right? I think it's going to, you know, really matter how much side content. 14 chapters. Okay, yes. Yeah, so we're right at that halfway point. So halfway in, and without getting into story spoilers or anything like that, my impressions of this game are honestly through the roof for a lot of reasons. But if I had to boil it down for, for one specific reason, it's because I feel like this game improved on Remake in almost every single way. I really do. I feel, I feel like Rebirth expanded on and improved Remake's systems uh, from, from combat to the world interactions, interactions between party members. We'll, we'll get into the specifics of it, but it really just took the foundation that was Remake and expanded and built on it in ways that honestly surprised me. And it's just, it feels like, it feels like they didn't just rest on their laurels, right? They didn't just say, okay, this is good. This was received really well. Let's just do more of this. Rebirth doesn't feel like more of Remake. Rebirth feels like they expanded on it. They built on it. They improved it, uh, you know, in every way from combat to uh, the towns that you're in. I mean, towns in Remake were okay, but they were like smaller linear areas that in Rebirth, they just feel so much more like towns. They feel so much more alive. Uh, there's verticality to the to the towns that you're in. They're so detailed. There's all these little corners and it's worth exploring all the little corners, you know, whether you're in like open world areas or in a town because they had they had loot and stuff like this. They reward exploration, which is one thing that's really big. Um, combat system is improved. You have the synergy attacks, which makes a huge difference. The fact that the synergy attacks also affect relationships between party members, which that has been expanded on greatly. You have individual relationships with all party members, and then you have these almost like private actions, private conversations that you have with party members in between big moments in the story that can, you know, advance your relationships with like Tifa, Aerith, Barrett, um, you know, just everything about the game is just better, like in pretty much every way. The way they've expanded materia, there's new materia now. There's, there's, you know, the way materia works in some cases is a little bit different, a little bit better. Uh, the way some skills work, it's a little bit different, a little bit better. The skill trees for characters are awesome. Um, the pacing of the game is great. You know, uh, in Remake, it felt like... And the best way to explain it for Remake is it felt like there was like a straight line and then stop here. Okay, now do a bunch of busy work. Do all your busy work. Busy work, busy, 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 fetch quest, fetch quest, fetch quest. Where are these kids at? Let's go find these kids for no reason, blah, 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 blah. And then, all right, now you're back to the game. And then you're you're making progress. You're moving forward. And then all your progress stops. Here's a, here's a checklist of side quests and here's a bunch of stuff. Do all this stuff. Now, it was optional. You didn't have to do it. Don't get me wrong. Uh, and it wasn't bad and I, it was fun. I didn't have any super complaints about it, but again, it wasn't a system that was broken. It wasn't a system that significantly hurt the game. I don't think there were a ton of complaints about it, right? Uh, because it was still, it was still, you know, pretty interesting side quests, well voice acted, not bad at all. But in Rebirth, the design of the game is opened up so much. And then with the side quest, the side quest feels so much more rewarding. First of all, they, they have more depth to them. In my opinion, um, they have more voice lines to them. There's more story to them. There's more reactions and interactions with your party members during these side quests. So they don't like a side quest in final fantasy seven remake, uh, to me generally felt like a side quest. It didn't feel necessarily important. Uh, it felt like, yeah, we can, you know, we can do this if we want to, we can skip it. It doesn't really matter that much. With Rebirth, the side quests are so rewarding and there's so much interaction in your party and between your party members and the side quest characters and NPCs and stuff that it, it, it kind of feels like, man, I really don't want to skip this because 
these things are so good like the writing is so good the characters are so good uh little bits of you know they'll they'll throw in a little bit of lore or they'll throw in you know a reference to the og or a really cool reference to something else in final fantasy so i i constantly feel like i don't i don't want to miss this that's honestly how i feel about the entire world of final fantasy 7 rebirth i explore the whole map because i'm like i don't want to miss anything because everything I'm finding is so good. I feel rewarded for exploring and looking and, and checking out everything. Um, the world in Tell and the, 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 not the side quests necessarily, because when I'm talking about side quests, I'm talking about story quests. I'm talking about maybe side content, okay? Like the stuff you're doing with Chadley, right? Uh, going and looking for treasure, digging up treasure with your chocobo, uh, doing the, the combat intels and stuff like that. None of it, feels like busy work to me because the rewards that are tied to these side activities are worth it. I want the reward that I'm gonna get for doing this, so I'm gonna do it. I don't feel like I wasted my time when I'm done doing it. Also, a lot of these combat challenges and things like that, that, that just feel like, might feel like busy work in a different scenario, they're challenging and they feel really good to complete and again it, it it comes with the whole game like every conversation i can have with my party members every side quest i can do all of the world intel i am not the kind of gamer that likes to 100 percent things i don't like doing that I, it's usually not worth it to me so in 95 percent of games that i play i don't 100 percent them and i have no interest in 100 percenting them it's not a bad thing. It's not a diss. It's not that I don't like the games or anything like that, but I have to truly love a game. You know, I, I have to love all of the game to really want to 100% it. I have to be like absorbed in it. I have to enjoy all of its systems. It really can't have a significantly weak area in the entire game. If there's one significantly weak area, whether it's the combat, the exploration, the dialogue, the story, anything, then I'm not gonna deem it worth 100%ing. That's how I am, okay? With Rebirth, I feel that way. And I haven't felt this way in a long time. I think the last games that made me want to 100% were Horizon Zero Dawn and Persona 5. Uh, both of those games made me want to get everything that I could get in those games. Do everything. Maybe Ragnarok would have done that. I didn't own Ragnarok. I borrowed it. Uh, but I remember I did one stream on God of War Ragnarok. It was a 12-hour stream. And the entire 12 hours was me doing side content, side quests. I didn't do a single main story quest the entire 12 hours. It actually drove my chat crazy. Uh, I don't know if that stream is still up on my channel or not, but that was crazy. But again, like when a game is when a game is that good, it doesn't really matter what you're doing. You know what I mean? I don't care if I'm doing combat trials. I don't care if I'm, you know, searching the world for these shrines to your summons that strengthen your summons and make them easier to fight in Chadley's combat simulator. I don't care if I'm doing a side quest. Queen's Blood. Can we talk about how fun that is? Queen's Blood is awesome. And maybe this is a hot take. I loved the Fort Condor minigame, like a lot. Uh, the minigames are just so much better. Even that little like dumbass like dolphin almost made me think of like Wave Race 64, but that dolphin minigame that you do with, uh, with, with Cloud, it just so many things in this game are so good that I feel like I can't risk missing any of it. I feel like I have to do everything in the game. Anytime that you feel that way about a game, anytime you feel like I have to do everything, you know you got something special. And the writing, as far as the story, no spoilers, the story's great. It's obviously a very different game. We're going, you know, we're going somewhere. This is uncharted territory, right? So I don't know what's going to happen with the story, but it's been so good so far that I'm, you know, I have total faith in what they're doing and I'm willing to go wherever they want to take me. Uh, the only thing that this game really needs is a graphics patch. I don't know what's going on with the contrast. I, I'm so tired of going from a, a, a dark area to a light area and my whole screen screen is just white i get flash banged i can't see anything for the first couple seconds and when i go into a cave or an area with a lot of shade or into a house it's just in me it's just black you just can't see anything the contrast and the lighting in this game is fucked up 
the audio balancing in this game is fucked up uh the music is turned up to a thousand uh but then uh character dialogue voices are turned down to like six uh i had to turn the music in this game down to about five out of ten while keeping the voices uh for characters and npcs all the way up to 10 and they still get drowned out sometimes by <clears throat> music in the environment ambient music or whatever i don't understand the, the, the audio balancing these are also issues that remake had and i don't know why they haven't been addressed it needs a performance patch the performance mode is trash i'm sorry the perform there's no excuse for how bad this game looks in performance mode it looks like I, th I think s it looks like a Nintendo Switch game at times. The, the, the resolution 720p feels generous. Outside of that, everything else just has so much TLC and it just, it's like, mm, it's like sipping on a fine wine. I love this game. I love this game so far. I think it's great. And uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I do think the second half of this game and ultimately the ending is going to influence my my score or my overall thoughts on this game by a lot i do think that so you know i think the closer we get to the end the the more chapters we go through as we get closer to chapter 12 13 14 um you know you're gonna see me starting to get more and more nervous as we get close to things that are gonna you know in my opinion the way they handle certain things it's gonna make or break the game for me story-wise towards the end so we'll see what happens with that but as right now midway those are my thoughts on the game